All right, guess who's back? Chia's back. All right, it's been uh, about six years since my last post. I did post a video earlier on, but my friend told me it was crappy and too loud and the audible was terrible. So he got his wish, I took it down. I'm gonna try to take a little bit more pride in the production quality of my videos. I hate video editing, so I usually just slam things together, cut and paste and, and try and make it as fast as possible. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to release a new video every Sunday because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. I moved to a new place, bought a rack mount and have four rack mount servers, uh, three of which are mining Ethereum right now and I've decided to convert and add those to Chia mining. I just finished uh, setting up four Chia farmer only installs which will hopefully allow me to mine faster as well as plot faster. Uh, I'm going to go through that in a different video, but for now, uh, I'm going to show you a quick video of some of the stuff that I was doing to convert. Uh, for future videos, uh, I'll be doing some Chia stuff, Chia updates, configuration. Um, also, I'm going to start giving, uh, basically every week I'll be doing kind of uh, some of my archived video stuff that I've never posted that I've been working on. So we're going to be adding a little bit of the new, a little bit of the old and uh, I'm gonna try and keep to a schedule of every Sunday posting a video and maybe we'll go into tutorials or how I did stuff. But anyways, nobody wants to see a talking head, run the intro and we'll get started on me converting one of my Ethereum MIGs to the main full node of the Chia Harvester. So check it out. So today we're going to take part of the Chia build. Uh, the first things we're going to be doing is we're going to be shucking these 10 terabyte drives. Uh, so to get the hard drives out of them, uh, then we're going to be placing them into these drive cages and I'm going to be installing them into the server called Goose. That server is going to be my main Chia full node. So that's going to allow me to have all of the drives inside that server and use it as a full node. The other servers I'm going to be bringing up, I'm upgrading to these one terabyte SSDs. Uh, I'm going to be putting those in my main harvesters or plotting rigs. So this is actually one of my main plotting rigs. It's uh, MSI 97. 70 uh, CPU. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got that wrong, uh, but it's pretty good. Uh, eight cores, uh, 4.5 gigahertz. So I'll be putting that SSD into this box here and using this as one of the plotters. So for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to start shucking these drives. Once they're done, I'm going to pull out the server that we're putting it in and we'll start installing them into here. All right, so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing NVMe in this computer here uh, with a one terabyte uh, NVMe. Now the first thing is you just got to undo the screws. Typically, I don't do this on top of the kitchen counter uh, because I don't want to scratch it. So. We're going to put something underneath this after I'm done replacing this. This is the simplest part of the upgrade because we're just replacing the NVMe here. And it's at the back. So you can see the NVMe spot is here, which is what we're going to be replacing. This is a 256 gig, uh, I think this is an SSD. Yeah, this is an SSD. So we're going to be replacing it with this Samsung one terabyte drive. I'm gonna get scissors. SSD taken out. And this is 
the Samsung 980, which is a really good SSD, one terabyte. So that should be enough on here for this. What I'm going to do as well, I think I might see if I can install um, a heat sink on top of this. Let's see if it actually will close with this heat sink here. I have a, a larger heat sink but I don't think that's going to be able to close because this is a lot taller. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these smaller heat sinks. See if this will close. So yeah, these are a lot thinner. And do a quick test fit. Yep, yeah, so that, that will close, uh, even with the thermal pad on top. So like so and like so. So that is close, but it will close. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the thermal pad to this, but I'm also going to remove the sticker so that it has direct connectivity. So here we go with the removing of So we remove that from here and we're going to apply the thermal pad Grab the lid it on. I'll post the specs of this machine here and we're going to turn it back on and see if you can see the drive. All right so now the next step is we've got to shuck these drives. Um, take them out because we're going to put them in to the actual Chia full mode as regular drives. I'm not going to be doing the USB um, the USB daisy chaining thing. I have uh, server rack equipment that I'll show you guys shortly. And it's a shame that I have to take this apart. Um, yeah, that is a shame because this is a nice this is actually a really nice closure. It's even got a power button. Wow. I don't think I've seen these with a power button. That's really cool. Okay, so we're at the shucking part and I did the prying off camera because I was just trying to make sure that I didn't screw everything up and make a complete disaster of that. Um, pretty easy to shuck. Just find the corners, uh, break out the connecting uh, clips, and now here we just have to remove uh, the hard drive uh, power supply. drive so that's one and where will be so you live and you learn of course I had all the drives nicely installed put into the server turned it on and only one of them showed up did a whole bunch of troubleshooting until I found out online that white label uh, drives you have to actually disable the third pin uh, so I, I did that on one of the drives. Basically, I had to go out, grab uh, some electrical tape, test it out, and one of the drives is now working. So both these drives are working. I'm going to go ahead and proceed to cover up the third, uh, the third pin. 
Let's see if it can zoom in there. Yeah, the third pin on uh, this and the next drive. So, yep, you live and you learn. And I bet you people watching this were already telling me that I was going to have to do that. <laughs> All right, so we have the server out of the rack. This is the main server that we're gonna be using for all of our drives. We shucked four of them. So we got four of these 10 terabyte Western digital drives. We're going to be mounting them into these drive bays here at the front. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to remove this fan, install the drives into here, and install it into the front like so. so I'm going to be proceeding with that now. This was just a fan, uh, kind of a makeshift fan connector that I, I had made. Uh, the other thing that I'm gonna do is this is now the operating system here. And I'm going to be removing this one that is down here, which was the old operating system, and putting in this SSD. So first, let's replace that drive down here with the new one. All right, so we have this all wired up now. You can see uh, all the SATA connections, all the power connections coming out pretty, um, Pretty cable managed, um, pretty easy to do. Now, this is going to be installed. Whoa, that, that is heavy. Wow, that's a lot of hardware. I'm not used to working with hard drives. Uh, so we're gonna install it there. And these are all going to get routed to the SATA connections, which are right here. And connect those, dot, 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 dot. Okay, so we've made a riser bracket here at the back of this unit. Uh, basically, it's going to be connected to this, like so. I have to move one of these pads to here because it won't be able to fully connect it here. Now, all we have to do is connect the SATA connections Power's already connected. Uh, no, it's not, but it will be in a second because I have it right here. Whew, and then we boot up. Okay, so let's go ahead and start doing the cable management for this. Oh my gosh, after trial and error, trial and error, Finally got it done. All of them are being recognized. Uh, gonna put it back in the PCIe slot, configure a remote desktop, and get Chia up and going. Uh, this is gonna be the full harvester, so I gotta get it synced. I do have the database um, that is backed up, so it shouldn't take too long to sync, but okay, we did it. They're all there. <laughs>